we've been talking a lot about on wall, on ceiling, and I know you've been doing your own experiments and in your videos, I always thank you like, thanks for trying it because that's the tough thing is mm -hmm. actually like putting in the work and trying it. And then, you know, you can form an opinion based on, you know, your experience. And I always respect right. that over this kind of theory. Cause a lot of times people will say, well, theoretically it should do this. And this is why they, I'm like, I appreciate that too. That's all good. Mm -hmm. But when it comes down to it, trying it and having an idea what, you know, your experience is, I think is important. And I don't think any, you know, maybe most people can't do that. Maybe they don't have the speakers. They don't want to make holes in the wall, you know, all these things. So, um, yeah. yeah. Can you kind of give us a summary about, about that experience? You're still talking to me. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're the, you're our guest, man. No, I, I talk to these guys all the time. I know. Here's what I know. Aaron, he, That's he, hilarious, at the moment, dude. he doesn't really care That's too much funny. about that stuff. Michael loves his Atmos setup. So he has no complaints. He has no interest in, you know, trying the other thing. So I, I, I we've heard from them. I want to hear from you. Uh, yeah. I mean, um, I was, I was so gung ho about uh, getting that voice of God channel up straight above me and uh although i don't know it's ever since i reviewed the the iota avx 17 mm -hmm. that's pretty much been my permanent uh preamp that's been connected ever since every once in a while i'll throw the sr 7015 back on um but uh yeah when i when i tested out like a, a true RO3D setup for the first time um, with the Marantz SR7015, man, I've, I was like, yeah. I didn't really get a lot coming out of the voice of God, or at least that I could really tell. So that was a little bit of a disappointment. Um, I mean, I never made a video on that or anything. I just, because I'll, I'll eventually revisit RO3D and compare that to Dolby Atmos and DTSX because I did that a while ago in my old house, but now having like a proper dedicated home theater, I want to do that again. But, uh, and it's just kind of underwhelmed. Not, not just with RO3D in general, I'm talking about just the voice of God. Me too. Uh, yeah. I, I, I agree with you. I just when thought it, it was going to be like a game changer. I'm like, Oh my gosh, there's something straight above me. It's going to sound so cool. It's like, eh, <laughs> yep i mean but i still like ro3d up mixing that that is still true mm. but uh, i'm uh, with you i'm, I'm with you day. if i lost the voice of god channel or if it was disconnected i'm not sure that i would notice too much and that's kind of the hint to me yeah. that a speaker up there is not the greatest thing you know from experience it's not if you yeah. it, look if, if you're watching this and you're like you know you're trying to decide whether you need that. I don't know. I don't know that I'd want to go out of my yeah. way. And that's what we're trying to do, right? We're just trying to share our experience. So maybe you can right. save somebody the hassle of uh, Reverend Slim says filling holes because he's tried lots <laughs> right. of different configurations. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the only downside about having the IOTA as my mm. main preamp right now is that it doesn't support RO. So. Mm. I mean, it, yeah. it is what it is. Yeah. I like it. After every Monday podcast, we have an after show. If you're interested in joining us, go to patreon.com forward slash daily high five. <laughs>